Okay, to take a quick look at uh, some Smith & Wesson revolvers. Uh, these are 686 revolvers, 686 plus revolvers, I should say. Uh, Smith & Wesson, uh, 357, there's seven shots. Uh, and these are a Talo edition, so uh, for those who don't know, Talo is a distributor, and they'll uh, get certain uh, manufacturers to make a gun specific basically to what they want. So these came out a couple years ago. Uh, you can still find them new in the stores uh, quite a bit. They're still out there. So this was the Talo 357 edition. So 357 Magnum, 357. What they did is they did a 3 inch, a 5 inch, and a 7 inch. So the guns are essentially the same. The only difference is the barrel length. So uh, going through them real quick. So a Smith & Wesson 686. Is going to be a stainless steel version. Uh, 586 is going to be regular steel that's blued. Um, and the 686, the plus designation is that these actually hold seven rounds instead of six. So a lot of your 357s, uh, depending on the frame size and everything, will hold five, six, or seven rounds. Well, some of them actually now hold eight or so. But um, the 686s will hold six or seven, and these are the seven. So it's the 686 plus. So as you look at it, it's got your basic Smith & Wesson revolver sights, orange front ramp, and the back is just a U-notch with a little white outline, standard hammer spur, nice and knurled. Cylinder release is your forward push, comes out. A uh, little bit different cylinder here, this is unfluted. Most revolvers will have that little flute cut here in between each of the actual holes where your rounds go. But this is what they call an unfluted cylinder so it's smooth all the way around. Same thing on this side. It's engraved here Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. Smith & Wesson over here. There's your stamping of where it's made and everything. Um, and the one other difference is that on these grips it's like a wood grip kind of hard to tell in here it's kind of like a blackish gray laminate down here on the bottom it's actually engraved I don't know if that's engraved it looks like this is a raised portion so this is kind of I don't know if you call it knurled or whatever to get like a grip so it's kind of grippy here and then there's a flat piece right here it says three five seven so same thing on each side so like I said basically it's your standard 686 plus uh, the main difference is you're going to have an unfluted cylinder, and then these grips, obviously you can change stuff around, and then there's a 3, a 5, and a 7, and 357 Magnum, which is an awesome round. So um, the 3 inch is great uh, if you want to carry, um, concealed carry or open. Uh, the 5 inch would probably be okay for open carry um, if you're in an open carry state. Or uh, maybe for like a barbecue gun or if you're carrying it when you're hunting or hiking or camping, you know, something like that. Um, the 7 inch really isn't very practical for anything except going to the range. Uh, it starts to get heavy. It starts to kind of be front heavy when you get to the 7. Um, I would say usually a 5 or even a 4 inch is really best for balance you know when it's in your hand it doesn't want to tip forward you can get a good good solid grip on it uh, the three inch obviously is going to be best for carrying just because it's a little bit shorter so you could get this uh, you know hidden or concealed underneath something and you're not going to lose a whole heck of a lot from a five to a three as far as velocity goes if you're using good 357 ammo um, Good 357 stuff coming out of a three-inch barrel is still going to be plenty potent for, uh, you know, concealed carry or self-protection type things. Um, I actually like these a lot. I got these three, and I wanted to carry one, but um, I, but didn't want to take them apart, so I left them like this. Then I got another one, and I put together kind of a carry gun. So the difference is I. You know, the changes I made on this, so I have a Packmire grip, so it's a rubber grip. Kind of soaks up that recoil a little better, just feels a little bit better in the hand. 
This is an extended cylinder release. So instead of reaching up to here, it kind of is back here. It's just a little bit, a little bit faster if you ever have to do a reload. Just a little bit easier to reach. And then on the front sight, I replaced that orange ramp with a uh, with a high vis green fiber optic. And this one is actually from, I believe, High Viz is the, the brand name. And what's nice about this is that that fiber optic is actually encased in some clear, I don't know if that's polycarbonate or plastic or whatever it's in. So sometimes that fiber is just a tube sitting there. And if you, you know, bang it on something, it can break real easily. But this is actually kind of covered in this clear plastic so that keeps it uh, keeps it a little safer in case you bump into something when you're carrying it so like I said this is one that I put together for carrying um, also on the internals what I did for this uh, instead of carrying a speed loader I actually prefer moon clips so I sent this out and had it milled for moon clips and for those of you who don't know what a moon clip is Holding these rounds in here, there's a little metal clip. So instead of loading each uh, each individual bullet seven times, what you do is you take one of these clips and you pop your seven rounds in there. So it's basically like a speed loader. A speed loader, you would drop it in, turn it, or push the button and the rounds fall in. The moon clip actually stays attached to these. So if you're going to load this with the moon clips, you just kind of line it up, drop it in, you're ready to go. And then when you unload, when you take it out, they're going to come out all seven at a time. So if you don't have a moon clip in there, if you shoot, a lot of times your uh, shell casing in here will expand a little bit. So when you open that up, the ones that are shot will usually stay out. Some of the other ones might fall back in here. And sometimes you don't get them all to pop out at the same time. But with the moon clip, they're all in there. Pop them all out. They all come out at the same time. So those are a little bit of differences that I uh, made for a carry gun as opposed to like a range gun. So like I said, this is the Talo Edition 686 Plus. So these are 7 shot 357 Magnums from Smith & Wesson. A 3 inch, a 5 inch, and a 7 inch barrel. And this is one that I put together for concealed carry. So... Uh, milled for moon clips. This was done by TK Customs. They're down in, uh, you know, somewhere down by Champaign, Illinois. I forget the name of it, but if you look them up, you'll find them. TK Customs, they do great work. You basically just send them the cylinder. They do it and ship it back to you. It's real easy to take these apart. It's just a couple screws. So, moon clips, uh, high-vis sight, and an extended cylinder release, and some rubber grips. Make this a really nice carry gun. If you ever want to carry a 357 Magnum, seven rounds of 357 in there. It's a nice little gun to carry. And then these are also just nice guns to take somebody to shoot at the range because, you know, a 357, you can pop 38 special in there. So, you know, if you're taking a new shooter out, you want to put them on maybe a five inch or, you know, four or five inch, six inch 357 put some 38 specials in there it's a real light shooting gun very little recoil so you can get somebody who's you know not familiar with shooting a little bit more accustomed to shooting and stuff like that so once again uh 686 plus Talo editions and you can still find these in the stores right now and it's a nice little set to have it's just kind of nice having a little collection of uh, revolvers